Hello you too, Mr. Mallon here, and we're going to be doing some science today. Now, I've actually come to the strangest place I think I've ever recorded a lesson before. This is going to be in my bathroom, because this is actually going to get a bit messy. We're looking at states of matter. Now, states of matter are a way of sorting different materials. There are three different states of matter. There are solids, like this. There are liquids, like this. And we can also get gas. We're going to be looking at solids and liquids today. Now a solid is a material that usually can't change its shape unless we put a lot of pressure onto it. A liquid can change its shape very easily. We don't need to do anything ourselves or add any pressure to change the shape of a liquid. It will just change the shape into the shape of the container that we pour it into. So there's the water and it's taken the shape of the glass without any pressure at all. If I pour it back into the jug, it will take the shape of the jug. There we go. So a liquid changes its shape into the, into the shape of the container that we pour it into. A solid doesn't change shape easily. You need a lot of pressure to change, change the shape of a solid. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the sheet which I've put onto the website for you and you should have a table there. And that table should have a list of materials down one side, that side. You should have plastic, water, card, sponge, jelly and tomato ketchup. What we're going to do is we're going to go through each material and you're going to tip whether you think it's going to be a solid or if you think it's going to be a liquid. Then we're going to test it. We're going to see if you're right. And then you're going to write down in the last box whether your prediction, whether your guess was right or wrong. So let's have a look. Our first material on your list should be plastic. I've got a pen and this pen is made from plastic. Now, I'm not going to add any pressure to this. I'm simply going to put it into the container, the glass. If this pen takes the shape of a glass on its own, it's going to be a liquid. If it keeps its own shape, we know it's definitely going to be a solid. So what do you think? Do you think the plastic, the pen, is going to be a solid, keep its shape, or a liquid, that will change shape to fill the container? So pause the video, put a tick in solid or liquid, then hit play when you're ready. Find out. It definitely hasn't changed its shape, has it? So that pen, the plastic, is definitely solid. So you can put in your box whether you got it right. Did you get it right? Yes. If you got it, didn't get it right, just right. No. So you can pause the video and give that a go, and then hit play when you're ready. Right. Your next material should be water. Here we go. Here's my jug of water. What do we think? Is this going to be a solid? Is it going to not change its shape? Or is it going to be a liquid? Is it going to take the shape of the container? So pause the video, take solid or liquid, and hit play when you're ready. Let's find out. Oh, it's changing its shape to take the shape of the container, the glass. Oh, oh, almost. I would say that's definitely a liquid. So if you said it was a liquid, Congratulations, you can write yes. If you said it was a solid, you can write no. Oh, try not to get it onto the floor. There we go. Okay, next material should be card. So, in theory, if it's a liquid, it doesn't matter how big it is, it should be able to take the shape of this container. If it's a solid, it won't be able to change its shape unless I put a lot of pressure onto it. So what do you think? Solid or liquid? Tick the box and hit pause. Tick the box and hit play when you're ready. All right, let's find out. No, it's not going in. It's definitely a solid. It can't change its shape to fit the container. So if you hit, if you tick solid for card, Give yourself a yes. If you tick liquid, give yourself a no. All right, the next material, this one's going to be interesting. You have sponge. So what do you think? Do you think a sponge 
is going to be a solid, it won't, it won't take the shape of a container unless I put a lot of pressure onto it, or do you think it's going to be a liquid? I'll just stick it in and it will take the shape of a container without any pressure at all. What do you think? Is it solid or liquid? So you know what to do, pause, and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, let's give it a go. Solid or liquid? It's not taking the shape, is it? It's not changing its shape. I think it is a solid because it's not easily changing its shape to fill the container. But this, this solid is a bit softer, so if I put some pressure onto it, I can actually squeeze it into the glass. Now it has taken the shape of the container, but that's because I put a lot of pressure onto it. It didn't change its shape on its own, so it would still be a solid. So if you tick solid, give yourself a yes. If you tick liquid, give yourself a no. Right, next material now, jelly. It is tempting to eat this, it's blackcurrant, so it's my favorite flavor, but in the name of science, let's get this open and we'll give it a go. So let's have a look at this jelly, see if we can get sure it's going to get solid or liquid. Oh, it smells so good. Blackcurrant flavor as well. There we go. So what do we think? If I put this into the glass, is it going to change its shape straight away into the shape of a glass, or is it going to keep its own shape? So if you think it's going to be a solid, give yourself a gift tip solid. If it's going to be a liquid tip liquid. Okay, let's give it a go. It's definitely not changing its shape, is it? I would say it's definitely a solid. I wonder what would happen if we added water to it. If it doesn't have water, it might even turn into a liquid. But as the jelly is at the moment, I would say it's probably a solid because it's not going into the glass. Oh, it seems like such a waste not being able to eat it. Okay, last one, tomato ketchup. Here we go, give it a good shake. So if I put squeeze some of this ketchup into the glass, is it going to be solid? It's going to keep its own shape? Or is it going to be liquid? It's going to take the shape of the container. Give the solid box a tick or a liquid box a tick. Okay, let's give it a go. See what happens. Oh, can you see that? It's taken the shape of the glass. Could it be a solid or a liquid? I would say that's definitely a liquid because it's taken the shape of a container. So if you tick solid, give yourself a no. If you tick liquid, give yourself a yes because you got it right. There we go. So I wonder how many of those, how many yeses you got, how many you got right, and how many no's you got, how many you got wrong. Some of those are really tricky, especially for sponge. That was a tricky one because it did change, it did change its shape, but we needed to squeeze it in. So it was still so like, we talked about the sponge. Let's have a look at that sponge. There we go. So it was a solid, but when we put pressure on it, it can change its shape. What I'd like you to do for question two on your sheet is I would like you to write a sentence telling me how I could change this sponge's shape. Is there anything I could, anything that I could do to change it? So hit pause, write down a way you think I could change the sponge's shape, then hit play when you're ready. Okay, let's find out. I wonder what you wrote. I can't wait to have a look and find out. I could squeeze the sponge. That changes its shape. I could twist the sponge. So I can move, I can pull one side of the sponge in one direction and one side in the other direction. So I could twist it to change its shape. I could bend the sponge to change its shape as well. I wonder if you've got any of those ideas as well. How about the jelly? I wonder how I could change the jelly shape. So again, hit pause, write down a sentence and tell me how I could change the shape of the jelly and hit play when you're ready. Okay, let's have a look. Can I squeeze the jelly? Oh, yeah, doesn't feel very nice though. Oh. Yeah, I can squeeze the jelly to change its shape. I can twist the jelly. Oh, if I twist it enough, I can even break it into two. Can I bend the jelly? Yeah, just about. Oh, can I stretch the jelly? Yeah, I can stretch it. If I stretch it too much, it breaks into two pieces. And I can bend the jelly as well. Don't know if you can see that. 
side to bend the jelly, fold it apart basically. There we go. Fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed the science today, guys. I hope you enjoyed, <coughs> Sorry, I hope you enjoyed learning about so solids and liquids. Maybe if you've got some time, you could have a look around your house and see what solids and liquids you can find. And if there's an adult with you, you could even do your own experiment trying to work out if they can take the shape of a container or whether they keep their own shape. Thanks very much for your time today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to see the fantastic learning that you've come up with. Talk to you, talk to you all soon. See you very soon. Take care, you too. Bye.